Hello everyone, this is me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to make a bucket hat using just one skein of this 100 gram of milk cotton yarn. I bought this nine pieces, one box, free shipping sa Shopee. So if you'd like to buy the same number of items, I think makakatipid kayo kasi pwede maging free shipping lang siya. And then, mabibili niya siya under 600 pesos for 9 pieces. So, they come in many colors. This one, I think, is pink blue. But to make this, we're gonna work single crochet stitches in rounds. So, meaning, we're not going to close off each round with a slip stitch. But, we're going to continuously work one single crochet into every stitch. We are going to need a stitch marker. And of course, we need to know the flat circle pattern. So we need to use a measuring tape. This is a my one of my oldest measuring tape, but uh, you can use this one as well. This one is more convenient to use nowadays. And then 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So as you can see, uh, this one I have designed is different from the bucket hats that I have shown you before. Yung pinaka rim niya, when you take a look closely, it's more like a pentagon shape, diba? Because I did an increase into every round. So for this project, I'll be using Milk Cotton Yarn. This is the brand name. And it says it's cotton of course obviously because this is a milk cotton yarn but if you check at the back the label only uh, has the uh, care instructions but did not have the uh, recommended hook size so for the hook size I already measured this using the WPI wraps per inch tool and Based on the yarn weight, it's bulky and the recommended hook size is 6.5 millimeter to 9 millimeter. So this one is a generic uh, crochet hook, 6.5 millimeter. And if you are planning to buy a set, the cheapest one that I could recommend is buying four pieces. So I bought this per set and it has 14 sizes available I will add the link in the description box just in case you would like to try buying a set of different sizes this is uh, the most affordable set from thinnest yarn you can use the uh, 2.0 mil millimeter hanggang sa pinaka malaki which is the I think 10 millimeter crochet hook. Yeah. So let's get started. Anyway, before I start the project, there are some of you who are um, quite old, and the first pag medyo to madalana, madali ng mga ala yung mga kamay, and you want something na medyo hindi naman tight yung zip sa hook. So you can use this one. The May Handle is the cheapest one that I saw online on Shopee and it comes in 9 pieces per set and the smallest one is the 2mm uh, and the biggest size is the 6mm uh, crochet hook. So yeah. I've used this one before. This is like using the regular generic hooks but with wooden handle. So yun ang maganda. So if you're gonna check they almost have, of course, they are generic hooks, just uh, the difference is it has this wooden handle. Now, with this kind of yarn, I don't alam kung paano kunin yung center pole, so I don't want to take a risk. So, ang gagawin ko na lang is dito na lang sa outside. And then, I'm going to start by working the flat circle pattern. So, if you guys are beginner, I suggest that you check out the... Uh, crochet stitch counting guide so that you will know how many stitches you need per round it helps to know 
so that you'd be able to make projects that have circle base. So, isa lang yung pattern na sinusundan when you're uh, making a round uh, base for any projects, be it coaster, a simple coaster, or a bottle holder, Red. or a rug. So, first, we're going to make a magic circle. You're going to wrap it around your two fingers and then put the working yarn into the middle of the circle. Insert the hook and then pull this working yarn and then we're going to bring up the yarn by chaining one and then the next step is we're going to work six single crochets into the magic ring So when you're a beginner, make sure that you have 12 uh, stitches in total. So two single crochets into every stitch around. Now we're going to work another increase, but this time into every second stitch. So we're going to remove this stitch marker because this is where we're going to start our third round. So now we're going to work one single crochet so make sure to add the stitch marker so so that you will know where to start the fourth round so into every second stitch that is where we're gonna work our two single crochets okay so as you can see we have there a yarn barf or yung join which is quite annoying right now into the next stitch we're going to work just one single crochet there and then into the second stitch that is where we're gonna add our two single crochets So this is the front side of the uh, bucket hat and this is the back side. And then we're just going to repeat the sequence. One single crochet in the next and into every second stitch, two single crochets.
All right, so we have completed five rows. And as you can see, we will just continue working and increase until we reach the circumference size for an adult. So that would be about 21 to 22 inches. Okay, so once you get to round 11, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're doing single crochets in round. To know the specific number of rounds that you already have, you start counting on the right side after doing the last stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you need a tape measure to measure the circumference so i already measured it earlier and it measures 22 inches around so that's the uh, circumference size and then after that the size is about like this almost uh, more than six and a half inches or 17 centimeters so this is for an adult size that's why the circle base is bigger if you're making for a toddler size I suggest that you check the crochet head size chart and there you will see the circumference size that you need for a specific size so for this one it's for an adult size and then this is the easiest part so we're going to work just one single crochet into every stitch around until we reach about three and a half inches in length so make sure to add a stitch marker into the very first stitch you made so that you know uh, when to start the next round and so that you will know also the number of rounds that you have made so far I'll just keep working one single crochet into every stitch around and then I'll show you what to do next to make the rim so this is what it looks like and you're going to measure the height that I did from where I started with just one single crochet in every stitch I did about just over two and a half inches and if we're going to count the number of rounds that we have from here from round one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen rounds so for round 19 we're going to continue with the increase that we did into the last round so on round 11 so the increase that we did is into every Tenth stitch. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual single crochets, and then after that, that's where we add the increase into every tenth. So we will just continue the increase, and this time we will be increasing into every eleventh stitch. So this is like round twelve.
on round 19 we will just continue what we have left off on round 11 the last round of increase that we did it's into every 10th stitch so that's the increase that we did so in here round 19 the increase will be into every 11th stitch that's like round 12 when you are following a circle pattern so we will just continue the sequence until we get back around So this is what it looks like after I did the rounds 19 to 24. So that will be the brim of the bucket hat. As you can see, we don't have the lines, noticeable lines where we started and uh, where we ended because we worked single crochet stitches in rounds. So after that, we're just going to work our last round with just working one single crochet into every stitch. Alright, so I did two rounds of just one single crochet into every stitch. And then to finish off, I'm going to remove the stitch marker this is the last stitch and we're going to cut off the yarn As you can see this is what's left And then we're going to use this bent tip needle. So into that same hole, we're going to So that this will create another chain and then we're just going to weave in the ends. Dun sa milk cotton yarn, may merong mga knots. Yan, mga dalawa. Dito sa isang skein. And, kailangan lang nga sa likod siya ng wrong side ng ginagawa nating project para hindi siya makita. Okay. 